Hey everybody, this is Coaster Crazy 10 and welcome to part 2 of my Epic Edition Picos video if you would like. I'm shooting this on the same day as part 1, that's why everything is all the same. So, um, yeah, with that out of the way, let's just get into it. I have a crap load of stuff to show you guys. Um, this is definitely my best pickup of any one day. Uh, before I get into it, I want to show you guys, I got this. Um, if any of you are familiar with my previous channel, um, I do a lot of connects, or at least I used to do a lot of connect stuff. Um, I'm actually working on a project right now. It's kind of top secret. I know it sounds silly and childish, but believe me, it, it's top secret. I'm working with a friend of mine. We need some new parts. I found a screw and serpent there. Complete, brand new almost. It looks like he just tried to build the first turn and then quit. Everything's all in the original packaging. Tubing hasn't been cut. Stickers haven't been put on the cars. Nothing. Got this for 10 bucks. Um, I was very happy with that. This is definitely a good deal. These are harder and harder to get right now. Um, they're going for $40, $50 dollars shipped on eBay, so really happy with that. And uh, I'm just going to try, I'm just going to show you pretty much everything. I'm not going to be able to do it all in order, although I'm going to try. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, the first games that I bought, I found a stack of Game Boy games. And I asked the guy what he wanted, and he's like, um, I want like five, six dollars for each of them. And I was like, that's a little too much. And he, uh, you know, him and I went back and forth a little bit, and we finally settled on 16 bucks for five of these. I know it seems like a really arbitrary number, but um, that's as low as I could get them, and I didn't want to, you know, risk losing the sale. Um, these are some pretty good games. Uh, first one here is Killer Instinct. It's in the uh, thing. Uh, all these belong to a girl named Amber, I suppose. Um, they're a little dirty, but most most importantly, they've been protected. So here it is, cartridge only. Uh, the next game here is Kirby's Dreamland 2. Uh, it's also in the case. I've heard so many good things about this game. I'm very excited to have it. And all these games were a little bit over three dollars. Um, I got another copy of Super Mario Land. Uh, it's a little bit of sun fading. I don't need this. If anyone wants it, let me know. This is going into my trades pile. I've got to have a nice trades pile. Uh, the next game here is Donkey Kong Land 2, also in the case. Super Mario Land was loose, by the way. Uh, yellow cartridge, good condition. And the last game here is Tetris Attack in a blue case this time. And also in very good condition. They all have like a dot and A on the side, but I can get that out with alcohol wipes. So, not a problem. So those five Game Boy games were sixteen dollars comp completed or together, not each. Um, let's see what was next. Uh, I think these were next. I picked up two PlayStation Two games. Uh, they had them marked for two dollars each, but I got both of these for three dollars combined. First one is Smuggler's Run. Smuggler's Run. It's a launch title for the PlayStation Two. One I did not have. Uh, this has a very thick instruction manual, like obscenely thick. Nice and complete blue disc. Uh, the next game here is Ridge Racer 5. Big fan of Ridge Racer. Uh, the first time I played Ridge Racer was on the PSP, and I really enjoyed it. And so I've been wanting to get some Ridge Racer games for the consoles, and I got this, also Blue Disc. I think this was a launch as well. Um, so again, for both of those, I, they're about they're a buck fifty each, give or give or take. So very good. Uh, both in great shape. This were like buried among sports titles, and I know they're racing titles, but I am a big fan of racers. So nice to see those. Let's see, I think these were next. Um, I picked up a PlayStation 2 game, and I actually picked up three Atari 5200 games. I have never seen them in the wild except for in like a game store, but uh, very cool to see them. Now, what's great about this game is that it's actually sealed. I've, I've never picked up a sealed PlayStation 2 game in the wild. The game is Amplitude. This is about a $15 game, I believe, if you want to get it in good shape. Um, I think this was part of a set because the barcode is punched out, but it is sealed, brand new, the official seal up at the top. Um, likely going to open this, but I'm not opening it right at this very moment because I still haven't played through Frequency. Uh, and this is the sequel to Frequency, and this is the prequel to the Guitar Hero series. Um, so, yeah, this was cool. I got this one, and then I got these three Atari 5200 games. They're like wrapped up in these baggies. They're in really nice shape, actually. Uh, you got Pac-Man, which I've heard is a very good version, by the way. Super Breakout, and a game I don't know anything about. This is Countermeasure. 
And for these uh, four games, I paid $6. So I think that was a pretty good deal. Um, I don't know. I mean, Matar hit the new 100 games are not cheap by any means. So I was very pleased to see that. Um, then I got Resident Evil 4, the premium edition in the steel book for the PlayStation 2. It's a little bit scuffy, but um, I didn't even know this came in a, a premium steel book. So I, even though I have it for the GameCube, um, it is player's choice. And um, I wanted to pick this up while I get it, and I got it for $2, I believe. And it's complete. Uh, very good condition inside. Outside, it's a, again, as I said, it's a little rough, but um, it's something I didn't even know was made, so I was very happy to pick it up, and it has both discs and both manuals. So there's that. And then, let's see, I think at this point, no, this is the last pickup I had at this flea market, and then I went to another one. Uh, we got these three games here for $7 comp or total. Um, first one here is Just Cause for the Xbox. Um, complete very good condition. I've always wanted to play the second Just Cause, and I heard the first one's pretty good too, so I wanted to play that first. Um, so, there's that. Next game here is Shenmue 2 for the Xbox, which I was really surprised to see. This is one of the few games that are on my want list for the Xbox. I kind of just pick things up as I see it. Um, this is complete. Both discs. Uh, it's got the movie. It's that making of Shenmue. Um, and then the Shenmue 2 disc. And the nice, thick manual. It's in green and white, but whatever. So there's that. And then the last of the games uh, for this 3 for 7 was Wild Arms 3. I've never seen a Wild Arms game in the wild. I don't know if this is the one that's worth much, but I do know that Wild Arms are kind of sought after. The case is a bit busted. Um, I can get a replacement case, no problem for this. And it's complete. Uh, very good condition. Uh, I actually didn't check the disc on this one. It's a little scratched, but it's all surface scratches, so it should be fine. And if it isn't, I can get it buffed. So, again, these three games here were seven dollars. And I'm going to show you the last thing I picked up because the thing, I, the second to last thing I picked up is the just. It is so awesome. Um, I got two Super Nintendo controllers, official. Um, so here's one, and here's two. And I got these for a buck a piece. I already have two Super Nintendo controllers. So if anyone is interested in trading for those, uh, let me know, send me a message, and we can work that out. If I don't hear anything, I'm probably going to put them up on eBay or Racket Boy. Um, I could probably fetch 7 bucks for those. So um, Again, if you're interested in trading for those, let me know. All right, now the last thing that I picked up, the last thing I'm going to mention in this video, the second to last thing I picked up, I should say, is a lot of games. Um, I was looking around, looking around. Um, I've actually been was being tailed by this one kid pretty much the whole day. Um, he was he was basically right behind me looking at everything I was looking at. Not like literally right behind me, but he was um, going through things at the same where I was. He actually went to the second flea market after I did, so it was very strange. But I managed to get there before him to this. Uh, this guy was selling a PS2 and an Xbox, and the consoles had make offer on them. And so I was kind of humming and hawing. I looked at the console. Um, it was a little dusty, which is not that big of a deal. And I was kind of concerned. It was looked kind of grubby, but I ended up just being dirt. So I was like, all right, this could be decent. So I started looking at the games to see what kind of offer I can make him. And he comes up and he says, PlayStation 2, both controllers, all the hookups, and all the PlayStation 2 games for 30 bucks. And I was pretty much sold right there. And uh, I started looking around, and I saw some Xbox games that I wanted, and I asked him, being cheeky, if he could include those in the price, of $30, and he agreed to it. So everything that I got here, whatever thing I'm about to show you, $30. So let me show you guys. It came with two controllers. Uh, they're just a little dusty. Need a little bit of a clean, but they're in good condition otherwise. So there's one. There's two. And this is, I mean, if you went to GameStop, you'd pay... You know, 30 bucks for these. This One of these controllers is kind of messy, but, you know, whatever. It's two controllers, which you pay $20 in GameStop for that. Had the power cable, nothing exciting. And the video cable, nothing exciting either. Also came with an 8 megabyte memory card, which is great. Can't have too, too many of those. I'll show you the system. Um, sorry, I think I... Whatever. I think something got in my eye. Uh, here's the system. It is a fat... I haven't looked at the serial number because it has the network adapter on the back. 
but not only does it have the network adapter on the back, it has the Final Fantasy XI hard drive on the inside, the 40 gigabyte hard drive. Um, and that is because it came with the Final Fantasy XI in the collector's edition bundle. Now, unfortunately, it didn't have the big box for the, uh, the hard drive and everything, but, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Um, this game is complete. It's got the big old Play Online game manual, full color, you know, very verbose. Um, it feels, it's very thick. This back cover is very thick. Um, he wrote some information, his Play Online IDs and all that stuff, but, um, you know, not a big deal. Um, you know, I could play online as him if I wanted, if the servers are still up, but I don't want to. Um, then the, here's the game itself. It comes with the registration card, the manual, and both discs in practically mint condition. So, very nice. Let's see. Let me put this back in there so I don't get this box bent up. Alright. Then, he also threw in the Final Fantasy XI strategy guide. And this is ginormous. And... The Final Fantasy XI is just way too overwhelming for me. Any MMORPG is just too overwhelming for me. I can't get into them. But that was a Final Fantasy I was missing for the PlayStation. And as you remember, New Year's resolution, get some Final Fantasy games. So then, it also came with all the literature. Um, I don't know if this is the actual Sony manuals or if this is just the hard drive manuals, but it definitely came with the hard drive manuals. Yeah, this is all hard drive stuff. And he kept them in the shrink wrap. Not the shrink wrap, the uh, plastic wrap. It doesn't even look like it's been opened. Uh, it's a hard drive utility disc included in there, so very nice. And then it also came with these games. I'll show you the PlayStation 2 games first. Uh, this game I just included in there because, I mean, I didn't know anything about it. It looks like an online um, RPG. I don't know anything about it. It's Champions of Norath. Greatest hits, you know, not optimal, but... <laughs> I don't even know about the game, so it's okay. Uh, this looks like something I'm not really into. I will probably try... Well, actually, I'm going to try to replace it with Black Label eventually. Um, mint, great condition. Then I picked up uh, Final Fantasy XII, and this is, replaces my Greatest Hits copy, so I have a Greatest Hits copy up for trade. Uh, it's complete. There's a little bit of dog ear on the manual. I'll probably swap them out, and then I'll have a mint copy. And it also came with the expansion packs, two of the expansion packs for Final Fantasy XI. Chains of Promethea, uh, complete, has a registration card, mint, um, it even has like the, the thing on the top where it sealed the top of the game, and then Final Fantasy XI, Treasures of Ot Ergen, I don't know, um, so that's complete, registration cards. And then the Xbox games, I got Halo 2 Multiplayer Map Pack before I get any of the Halos, I know, but uh, this, is a, this is the third Halo game that was on the Xbox, and I don't really see that this, this game that often, so I decided to pick it up, and this game made the whole lot just that much sweeter. This game is worth $25 on its own, uh, you can go on eBay and look at it, it's selling for that much, um, I think the PS2 version is even more expensive maybe. Um, being that I paid $30 for all of this, I was extremely excited to see this game in there, and I was amazed that he included it as part of the price. Um, I just, I can't even believe it. I'll show you guys. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. I knew about the game, and I knew that it was worth something, and I was glad that I knew about it so that I could see it, and it took everything I had to contain the excitement that I saw um, especially when he accepted my offer to put this in with the $30. Uh, it's complete, it's practically mint, I mean, it is just in beautiful condition. So, yeah. I told you guys, this was ridiculous. I tried to go by quick, hopefully it was fast enough, um, so that it didn't spill over too much. <laughs> just, I can't believe how much I got for the little I paid. So my plans are, I have a few games up for trade, I have this game that I don't really need, slash want, I have the, the Super Mario Land here, this is Donkey Kong for the TI, I shot that in my previous video, um, I've also got these two Super Controllers, if anyone's interested, I'm going to uh, take out the hard drive and the network adapter from the PlayStation 2, throw it in my launch PlayStation 2, and then uh, I'll put the backing on here. So I have a PS2 for trade. I'm going to clean this out. 
uh, PS2 with all the hookups, um, the con two controllers, and I'll put the memory card in. Uh, those will be for trade. I have a Black Label, Final Fantasy, uh, 12 up for trade, and I think I might have a few other things, um, but I'm going to do a trades video. Uh, I, I know it's pretty close to when I did the last one, but I'm going to do one, and hopefully uh, you guys will be interested in working out some trades, and so I'll get that sorted out. Um, again, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'll have a Saturn update. I'm putting the full collection on the back burner just until I can finish up my Game Boy collection because I've been really just putting that off way too much. So I'm going to um, uh, post about that in the next video. And I'll let you guys know how I did, how I did for my next 10 for the month, but I'm not going to be doing a 10 for the next month. I'm going to be trying to concentrate on getting the rest of the Game Boys. Excuse me. So uh, thank you guys for sticking through this video. I don't know how long it is. Probably it's going to be somewhat long. So. I do appreciate you guys, your patience, uh, sitting here and waiting through the, the video. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, look forward to hearing your feedback. 500 subscriber video special is coming. I'm just trying to figure out what prizes I'm going to offer for you guys. I have one that I know I'm going to do, and I have one that's going to be a maybe. Um, so I promise that'll happen. I'm not going to forget about it. I just have a lot of videos to post in the meantime. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, really appreciate all the support you guys have given me, um, and I mean, there's a prelude to my 500. I, I really am happy that I've made so many friends on here, um, so many great people, so many just wonderful conversations that I've had with people. Um, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, so I will see you guys in a few days with my, I'll probably do my 500 subscriber video after I post this, so I'll see you guys in a few days with that.